How's it going everyone? It's the Smooth Admin. Hey, uh, let's talk about reports today. Scheduling reports in Salesforce is really good, but you'll eventually learn that there's some limitations with that. You can only schedule and send a report to someone that has a license for your org. So eventually you're going to run into a business user that wants some data or maybe a vendor of yours that wants some data out of your org but they don't have a license and uh, they don't really need to use the system they just need some information out of it from time to time uh, but you're you're not going to be able to do this with regular um, functionality in Salesforce the other thing you can't do is uh, send someone automatically a file that's in a CSV so it comes instead in that HTML format in the email uh, and that's good but um, some people want to be able to slice and dice the information and you're not going to be able to easily do that from an email so it can be that can be a little frustrating but what I found is this really really cool tool called cloud answers report sender out on the app exchange and this tool solves both of those problems you can send something in a CSV file and you can send it to someone that doesn't have a license so any valid email address will work so this uh, company is not sponsoring me or anything I just found this tool and really like it and think it'd be uh, a great thing to share so uh, I'm just gonna walk you through real quick how I got this up and running and hopefully you'll find it useful so before I show you that though a prerequisite is that you have your my domain set up so if you haven't done that uh, you're gonna want to do that first I uh, did that already for this org you can see for my org my domain name is optimal pizza uh, and they're because it's a dev org they're adding this part uh, my name is optimal pizza because that's the name of my fictitious company here in my dev org uh, I have a pretend company that uh, is a manufacturer, like a large manufacturer in the United States of uh, food products that go into making pizzas like dough, sauce, uh, cheese, things like that. So uh, that is my domain. So I'll put in the description a link um, from Trailhead how to set up your my domain if you're not familiar with it. But just make sure you do that first before you install the package. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck and have to go back and do this anyway. And so, uh, if you're not familiar with the App Exchange, you can access it through the App Launcher and lo and go into the App Store here and download this package. Now, I've already installed it, which you can see here. So it's version 1.29, and I installed it yesterday. And once you do that there's a few really really minor post install steps first of all you need to go to your user account which for me in my fictitious uh, pizza manufacturer company uh, my person's name is John Doe and uh, you need to go to that person and give them the Cloud Answers Report center, Sender permission set, which I've already done for this user. And then you need to turn on the Cloud Report Sender um, activator, rather, which I'll show you that right here. So you can see after I installed the package, it's now an available app. Click on it and you can activate it right here which I've already done so uh, those are the post install steps uh, they do have uh, out on the app exchange you can click on a link and it'll open these instructions and it'll, it'll walk you through what I just showed you um, so here's downloading the app here's assigning the permission set and it already installed the tab for report sender so that wasn't really anything to do uh, this is the call out that you have to have my domain set up or it, this um, you'll be stuck and have to start over 
and this is the activate piece I mean really you cannot really get much simpler than that as far as installing a package I've, in, I've installed um, many um, including full ERP packages so this is really compared to those this is extremely simple so once you've installed that now you get to the to the really good part which is scheduling a report so I've already went ahead and did this I took a, an existing leads report that I have out in my org so if you want to see it I'll just show you here's a leads report that just is has basic lead information on it and I, you know you just go through this very easy setup so I set this up to uh, name the file name the report that I want to pull from I'm sorry the folder rather and then the report name and what you want in the subject and what you want in the um, body of the email and then put in the email addresses that you want to send it to so for this example I already set it up and it already ran um, and you can run it on a schedule like this but also you can which is, this is another cool feature you can as soon as I can get back to the screen here you can push it out manually too just by clicking this send now button and it's just that simple really um, this one I already ran earlier today and I captured this screenshot from my email so you can see it comes from John Doe via and this address so um, this is the tool that's um, adding this piece to the email address and then you can see it just like that there's a CSV um, attached to the email and then uh, just to show you I downloaded that email or I'm sorry that file and open up an, uh, opened up Excel with it and here it is just a, like a regular CSV file and it has the little stamp down here at the bottom um, from Salesforce and it's really really super simple so the this is the free version there's uh, a, a premium version where you can uh, get a few more features but I would recommend trying out this free version and see if it suits your needs to me I think it's extremely cool and allowed me to satisfy a lot of use cases here for other users that uh, I'm sorry other uh, business people that don't have Salesforce licenses for my company and uh, they really really love it so uh, I would recommend giving it a shot hope you like this video and um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more really appreciate it thanks a lot take care happy administering